What's up guys, this is Mark from Spantacular.com. Right now we're looking at the HP Veer 4G, available on AT&T. Uh, we're gonna do a hands-on with this device and show you some of its features and what it has to offer. Uh, so, we're gonna get to it. First thing you notice about the Veer, it's a very small device, it's very tiny. Uh, there's a, give you an idea of how small it is, put my pinky next to it. Uh, you've got a 2.6 inch liquid crystal display, uh, so LCD and uh, got a full QWERTY slider that pops out at the bottom very similar to the Palm Pre for those of you who are fans of that uh, it's got a nice oval fill with the buttons there uh, on the back of the device we've got a 5 megapixel camera uh, no flash I believe it does have autofocus but no flash so you'll be taking daylight pictures with that on the top of the device that's an audio control right there so if you want to hurry up and mute the thing you can do that Power control right there, turning on and off. Volume up and down, and that's pretty much it. Oh, there's a speaker right there. Uh, so this is running WebOS 2.1, which is the latest offering uh, from HP since they acquired Palm a little bit over a year ago. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a responsive little device. Uh, it just takes a little getting used to, especially if you've been if you're coming from like an Android or an iPhone type thing. Uh, one of the big things with the WebOS is the gesture technology or gesture recognition. Uh, like I'll give you a little sample of that. You slide up, everything slides around. So like we can, um, we'll go into the camera just to give you an idea. Uh, so that's that stuff there is. This was going to be an unboxing, but this thing took forever to boot up, and then it had to reboot and had to set up profile, and it was just a mess. But that's the camera itself. Now see the little light panel right there. You want to get out of that? We just go up. I say we go up or we go back. There we go. Yeah. And so I want to go into email. There's my emails there. We can slide it up and let's do away with that. Uh, go into the web browser. This does do full flash. Uh, it does do flash support. So if you're big on browsing, I know it's a small screen, but you do get a full internet experience. Uh, I'll show you what the accelerometer is like on this thing. See, that was pretty quick. And as far as hardware, let me get out of that. As far as hardware, you're looking at an 800 megahertz processor uh, from Qualcomm. Uh, memory is 8 gigs. So after all the bloatware and all the goodies that they like to throw in for you, you get about 6 gigs of memory. And uh, that's pretty much the basics with this one. Um, it's going to be available on AT&T on May 15th for 100 bucks on contract, of course. And uh, overall, it's, it's a good feel. I'm just trying to imagine putting this thing to my head because my hands aren't that big, but it's like, where's the phone? But um, it'd probably be best to have a Bluetooth headset with that. Who knows, maybe they'll make a promotion and bundle it. Anyways, uh, if you have any questions about this phone, feel free to leave us a message and we will gladly respond. This is Mark from Spantecular.com. Thanks for stopping by.